Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And if you are on Windows 11, 23H2, uh, you did have a uh, cumulative update preview for Windows 11, 23H2, but not for 24H2. So 24H2 did not receive a um, update right now for the um, update previews. So this isn't unusual. A lot of people are asking what's happening. Sometimes when they take a delay like that is because they might have seen something not right and they are fixing a bug before releasing it officially. Uh, so this is a possibility. Um, I've been thinking about the fact that this could be enabling 25H2. Um, who knows? Um, whatever it is, anyways, it should appear sometime in the coming days uh, as we start a new week. So, uh, of course, the uh, month of September ends on Tuesday. So before probably uh, tomorrow, Monday or, or Tuesday, we'll probably get that cumulative update preview um, coming through. If it comes in October, it will be kind of interesting to see that the September update preview comes in October. But if you're on 23H2, you did get KB5065790, uh, which was the cumulative update preview, and it was released at the same time as Windows 10 on September 25th. As for um, the uh, update preview for 24H2, it does exist. I have it on uh, my m machine here, which is in um, preview, so um, which is KB5065789. So this is the uh, update, but I did notice one thing that the cumulative update preview um, arrived um, and in kind of twice with a different build number. So I'm wondering if uh, there isn't a flaw in this update preview because they re-released it about a week after they had released the first uh, test of the preview for Windows Insiders, and this is what I see. So that would mean that maybe there was a bug and now they're testing again before updating, which is a good thing because we're tired of, you know, flawed updates. Uh, if you're on 23H2, the fixes are pretty much the same as uh, Windows 10, which is uh, SMB file sharing that is fixed. Uh, they're fixing also um, a few other things uh, within the system. Uh, that uh, had flaws, including that um, user account control problem. For people that are not um, using the PC in admin mode, uh, when there was a, a Microsoft install uh, package that would just modify a program, it would prompt the user account control, and it actually would not show up and would create an error message. So uh, this is fixed, too. Uh, so if you're on uh, Windows uh, 1123H2, you have received it. For 23H2, I guess you guys will have another one maybe next month, and will be next month will be the last one since 23H2 expires in October in uh, November. Uh, so uh, this is something to look at. Of course, if you're on 25H2 and 24H2, this is where everybody is waiting for the update preview right now. If you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.